Hey everybody, Brandon here, and today I'm going to go over um, the final setups for SEO information, then on your project, setting up your preferences, and then publishing to the web, and the options there. So first, we're going to deal with the SEO. This is where you put in your meta tags. Alright, you have your page title, so you name your page, and you give a quick description for your website. Alright, and those are the two basic ones that you use. You want to use the basic s search phrases, you go right here. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can actually set up the meta tags. I've already pre-set up a couple of these. One I set up is robots. And so I set it up where the robots are automatically uh, the index and follow the entire website. And another meta tag I set up is keyword. This is where you can set up the keywords uh, meta tag. So instead of having just the five that you they allow you to have, you can have a whole lot more. And to show you what it looks like is whenever it goes into the actual source code, you have your title that goes right here. You have your description and right here you have the rob I do the robots right there and then you have your meta keywords right here and you can see where the last one's sewing machine service so if you wanted to actually let me close this page SEO let's head on down to the keywords and so let's put in Casa Grande so I put in a new search term of the town that I've opened my shop in. So I hit save. Up here at the top, there's no indication that the button actually was pressed. I save the page. Let's take a look at the source code. And now at the end of my search term, I have Casa Grande. And so you can add in as many keyword search terms as you want, keywords that you want. Um, I think you can even do a uh, meta tag search terms. I don't know. I haven't messed with that. I've only done the keywords and the robots. Now, I don't know how much help it actually does with searching, but I mean, that's the purpose of it, I imagine, is to do the search the key by keywords. All right. Now, we're going to go into the we're going to go into the preferences. And this is where you set up how you upload your page. You know, you go into preferences, you set up your server wherever your server address is, you set up your username, your website URL, and the password. And so those are pretty much all you really need to put in. Now if you're more advanced and you really know what you're doing, then you could come down here, set your your default directory, you could set your upload folder, you could set the type of outgoing email that you're going to have, server, I honestly, I'd say leave the ports alone. Um, you could set up for proxy, or you could set up for router firewall, your PHP version, your web server path. You know, so those are pretty much the two pages you really need to know to have filled out properly for it to publish to web. And when you're ready, you hit publish to web. Now you get a few different options here. You could it ask you, do you you want or do you wish to publish what and what mode? So you have four different types. Uh, you have the project, which is your entire project that you upload. The open pages, whatever pages you have open in the tabs here. Now, as you can tell, I have many other pages that are just not open because what happens is tabs just line all the way across. It turns out it turns into a big mess all the way across. Your current page, which is the only page that you have selected, so you could upload just the one page while leaving the rest of your pages alone. So you do one page at a time. Now you could do a complete upload where it fixes the entire page, it re uploads the entire page, or you could do a differential which uploads just what changed, which is just the um, group of elements I put in and the keywords and meta tags which I don't know if I want to do because on the one I have up online right now well I gotta do it anyways because I gotta change that so what I'm gonna do is a complete because I'm gonna change the meta tags and everything 
And so you select current page or complete or open pages or your entire project, whichever one, differential or complete. Complete takes a little bit longer to upload. Um, now you could automatically open the website after publishing. You could back up the data on the web server, which I usually back up everything I do because I've had hard drives crash on me and lose all my information before. And display the list of files being exported. Do you want it to display whatever files are going to be exported? Now, whenever you do like the complete project, it's going to give you a couple other options. Automatically clean up the remote folder. Do you want it to automatically clean the folder that everything goes into so it uploads properly? A lot of times, I'd say you could do that on like the first upload. But after that, you really don't need to do it. Um, and do not export resources. So in other words, you don't want it to export the resources of the page. Now, if you have a bunch of stuff that, honestly, I haven't even hit that. I haven't done, I have not, I, everything I upload, I upload the complete page that I've built. So, then what you'll do is you'll hit OK. Then what's going to do is it's going to complete the publishing. It's going to open up this page and upload all the different elements. That's what it's doing. Right now, it's doing the background JPEG, so it's uploading that. And it's going to upload all the individual files the images and all the buttons and everything for the page. But that's honestly how easy it is to update your web pages. So every time you do a small change, you just hit publish, you select the page, you select if you want complete or differential, and then you hit OK. Honestly, the bottom check marks are really not that important to hit because I've honestly I don't open the page after I'm done I'll, if I do it I'll manually go and open the page but uh, everybody has a different preference that's what's cool is this program offers a lot of different options it goes to 100 and then it re goes again it's because it uploads I think it downloads and then uploads it so give it a second it's almost there. Oh, this is all the backups it's doing. That's why it's doing the second hundred. And transfer is complete. And just like that, the web page was uploaded with the new meta tags, with this new group of elements. And so I just wanted to get that up there. And also something else I want to touch on real quick. Say you make a quick one page. I'm going to give you an example right now. This project right here. Oh, this isn't my one pager, though. As you can tell, I've done a lot of. Here's where a bunch of tags all open up. But this right here actually originally was just a one page that I uploaded. It was just this with a few other pictures. And say you uploaded just a one page and then made a bunch of tabs that you're making your actual website and you want to bypass your home page that you have set up. Well your home page is your index. It's your main default page for everything for the open element. And so that's where it could get a little div difficult. But you could actually come up here to HT access right next to resources and then a command line for a redirect page to another website. And so on your page you can actually set up a command to redirect your page automatically. So somebody types in www.yourwebsiteaddress.com and then it, you can have it automatically redirect them from that one pager that you built to your actual website that you built. And so that could also help a lot of other people if they set up with a one page and they're looking to build the web page after that. Myself, I set up, I set up a one page and I deleted the file actually out of open element. I didn't need that one pager. It was just a temporary. So once this website's done, I'm uploading it and overwriting that one page. And so that's where everybody with a different goal um, will actually take different actions. So but I hope this helped somebody else. And until the next time, guys, happy building.